Hey guys, well, it's been a while since I made a video. Had some problems with an editing PC and got uh, distracted by some things with life, but uh, gonna be working on some new things pretty soon. Got a little Axial Yeti hanging out back there. Gonna be doing a few upgrades to it, do a few videos about that. But today, I wanna talk about these hobby screwdrivers, RC screwdrivers. They are a hex set, I got them on Amazon and um, I really like them. They were cheap. Um, this is not affiliated. I don't have any any uh, affiliation with Amazon or the manufacturer. I just thought if someone was looking for a good cheap set of screwdrivers or if they were looking at these on Amazon, um, this might be some good information for them. So let me get put on a tripod and we'll take a closer look at them. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit closer look at the three millimeter wrench. Uh, it's got the largest bit on the end so it'll be easier to see close up. Um, so it has a steel shank, obviously. It's not titanium nitride coated. I, this is the black oxide coating, I'm almost positive. That is affixed to the handle with a little grub screw here. Uh, all these were nice and tight when I got them. Handle is aluminum, like looks like an aluminum extrusion that's then been machined down maybe? Not 100% certain. And on the back, they've got these little plastic caps little o-ring on it. I guess you could put some screws in there and uh, put that on there and no one would ever know they were in there. Let's get a little bit closer up on the end of the bit itself. You can see it's pretty nicely machined, nice and smooth. The end is also nice and square. Uh, all four of them look just like this. There are no blemishes or imperfections that I could find. I uh, wanted to see how hard this is, see if the the uh, bit itself is hardened, so let's get a file in here and see if that bites. Um, I'm getting a tiny bit of bite, but that's mostly skating, so we'll call that a little under file hard, maybe uh, 50 Rockwell, 55 Rockwell, which is hard, plenty hard. So the only downside of that is these may be a little bit brittle, but for what you're going to be using them for, I highly doubt that that's going to be a problem. So anyway, I will put a link down in the description to these and um, stay tuned because coming up soon, we are going to be getting into this, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. We're going to talk about Axial's stock gears in here and these differentials and how they are hilariously inadequate. This isn't even steel. We're going to find out what it is, but it's not steel. And then we'll do some stuff with some stainless steel rod. We got some RPM, some incision good stuff here, a little T-bone and racing action. And uh, we'll get all that together and then maybe do some running videos. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.